welcome! Guys, it is time. We are going to be doing a Let's Play series. So many of you have been asking, and you've all been patiently waiting. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I think we'll do a brand new map for this. And I want to start somewhere that I actually haven't played on before. Um, hmm. Ponder, ponder. I kind of want some islands, to be honest. Or... Uh, either islands or shady strands. I'm kind of torn between these two. Let's try... Let's try islands. And um, if you guys want to play at home, I'm just going to keep the name as Lakewood. That way, if you want to just, uh, you know, take a look and reference back to here, uh, that way it's a bit easier to find it. But uh, usually when I play, I kind of make my um, districts, I usually make that like the city name, more or less. So we'll just kind of pretend that that's like the region name. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. This is so great. All right. That's just not a bad little starting plot. And we got some nice handsome rivers. Uh, we could do some uh, hydroelectricity, actually. That's not a, a bad area for that. Hello. <clears throat> okay, let's just go ahead and get started with the old familiar way. Let's pause that. So for those of you who don't recognize this, this is basically like my favorite way to kind of just get started on a new map. It's pretty easy for um, balancing traffic flow, like right off the get-go. And if you do it properly, you get uh, <clears throat> some nice handsome angles. So you can see perfect 45 degree angle. Perfect. So that'll be good for um, breaking traffic. And uh, incoming traffic will use both lanes. Especially if you force them... Oh, I deleted that other road too quickly. Oopsies. So if you do what I do, just uh, redraw this. And I actually needed that one in place so I could go up. Um, but we do get a partial refund, so not the end of the world. All right, so let's go out too. Now this way, um, when traffic is coming off the highway, um, they will like eventually I'll upgrade these lanes, right? So it'll be two lanes each. So they will use more than just like say the center lane or you know the outside or inside lane, because that in itself will just create a bottleneck. Okay. And now that there's that update in place. No, maybe this one further. Uh, we can change the direction of our uh, one-way streets. Let's just go over to our upgrade tool, and we'll just right-click. And perfect. Now these guys are the right direction. And just to manage traffic pretty well in the industrial area coming from our residential area, I'm going to draw one of these guys. And I guess, you know, we'll just kind of copy to a T what I normally do. I'm very, I'm familiar with it. It does work very well. And it is pretty cost effective too. Like I usually try to deviate from it, but whenever I do, I always run into trouble. So let's just stick with what we know. We'll play it safe. And that looks good already. And then over here is where we'll do... Oop, I think I just went a little bit too far. Uh, but this is where we're going to do our, um, our little bridgey. Connection back to the other side. And this one we'll just do a nice little... Nice little curve. So page up, page down. That controls the, um, the height. And straighten that out. And we'll just... Curve this guy right back. Cool. I like it. So this one's a little bit more compact than I've done in my um, my previous videos. But uh, it's all in the, the name of saving money. Because you go through it very quickly. Alright, so let's just close this off. There, just a little industrial sector. 
and we'll do the same thing over here, just a little bit of a residential sector. Now, we could do a bit of a roundabout. Hmm, but you know what, though? I'll, I'll wait uh, until we unlock the highway tools, and then maybe we could change something else around here. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Now, again, I kind of do the same general idea. The reason why I'm breaking the roads off like this right away is so that when I'm building um, off of these guys, it's not just like a, you know, a boring grid. You kind of see we've already got some variation. And what we could do is just have this. This will look really nice. Um, I, actually, I can't place it because it's going to cost way too much money. Uh, we'll have this come down like that eventually. And then we'll make this into like a little suburb, and we'll just keep this very low density. Oh, that'll be very nice. Alright, so let's just go a little bit further down with this guy. And we'll keep this one, say, relatively small, but we won't get too, too big. Like, normally I don't do a double um, avenue like this. Normally I'll just kind of stick to the smaller streets. But I am feeling bold right now. And just to get away from... Um, kind of going with just a boring grid, I want to throw a little bit of a bridge in here just for... Just for fun's sakes. I don't necessarily want to disrupt the flow of traffic on those one ways. And I think aesthetically it looks kind of nice too. Oh, can I pull this off? Oh, I can. Strange. Um, you know what? Instead, I think that'll just look nicer. Oops if it's just connected like as such now I wish that was a little bit smoother but I will totally deal with it alright not a bad start oh cool wind up in the industrial part that's great so when you're displacing your um, first power plants you can kind of see this big orange bubble around the um, the structure that's just for uh, noise pollution, so don't really put it over here. Even though the wind is better, like you're gonna make some uh, some residents very angry when you start to expand that part of the city. Like you can pay to have it relocated, but it's just you know, save the money, put it over here. I know it, it pumps out less electricity. You can put in two if you want. Feel adventurous. And oh, uh, oh, should we can? I'm gonna keep these guys relatively close to our. Um, our power. That way the uh, power lines won't cost us too much. And again, whenever I just uh, do my piping just in general, I kind of follow the roads. That way I know everyone's getting pretty decent coverage. And I don't really do a straight job of these, so... I don't expect perfect symmetry there. Everywhere else I promise I will try, but with pipes I, I gave up that battle a long time ago. And let's connect like this, that way it covers up that spot. And we'll just need some power. Perfect. And since we have the money to do it, I'm just going to play it safe and we'll just bring this in the whole way. I think I'm doing this partially for aesthetics, too. Because I actually don't even need this many power lines. It'll just look nice. Okay, I'm getting way, way carried away. Okay, that, that's fine. I'm not actually going to zone on the inside there anyhow, so I actually need to make this a little bit further. Alright, 
No, does that look too... It doesn't look that bad, right? That's okay. I'll take it. Actually, it's just not a, not a bad start at all. Alright, let's do some zoning, and then uh, let's press play, because we basically have just blown all of our cash. But honestly, money well spent. So I'll put some commercial down first. I basically am going to spread the commercial out through the city, kind of here and there. Um, like, truck traffic is going to come into the town and just replenish your commercial zones with goods. So if you have a big, big, big area of just nothing but commercial, it's going to draw in a lot of trucks, which is going to basically create some, uh, some traffic headaches. So just keep that in mind. Let's do a little bit over here. Again, don't feel like you have to just do little spots. I mean, you really, you can do, you know, a nice little healthy zone right there. And you'll kind of see later as we up the, uh, the density, you know, we'll need, there'll be a much higher commercial demand. So, but we'll, we'll address that when it comes. Like for the moment, just, you know, take it nice and slow. Okay, now we have a couple options in terms of getting power down to the residents. Um, what I'm going to do is just draw the power lines because that's for me is like the simplest way to do it. But if you didn't want to do that, um, what you could do is just force people. So I would put like more commercial zoning up here. And then I would just do a line of um, industrial like this. And then you're basically forcing people to build kind of this way. And as they do so, once a building comes in, that'll um, that'll bring power into its neighbor. So you won't need the power lines. So it's like for me to get power over to this guy, I now have to go like this. And then when I'm zoning on this part of the road, just because of the way this um, one way is coming in, um, I'm not going to build here. Because for you to like get to work, you have to come in from the region. So it doesn't really, it does not work. It does not make sense. So just little things like that, just be aware of. Like up here, I'm, all, I'm also going to do the same thing. I'm going to avoid zoning. I always call it the, pa uh, the point of no return. So I will zone only on the insides of my streets up here. And kind of see just, just like that. Same with over here. Now this might be a little bit much, but <clears throat> we will keep our eye on that. Now these guys, they don't all build at once, and because the yeah, power is not um, this far over, I'm going to play it a little bit safer, and we'll just get rid of these. And we'll just go like this. Oops, oh jeez. This way, um, everyone's going to get services really quickly, like power and water, and then hopefully less complaining overall. So uh, if you want to go to a cinematic mode, which is really cool, just click on this, and so we'll kind of watch the city. See how she looks. So basically the first buildings get built, and then, you know, our citizens come in. Uh, once they find somewhere to live, they're going to want to do some shopping, you know, have some fun, and eventually get a job. So you'll kind of see those things. In terms of demand, um, just right down here, you'll see the demand start to change once our first residents move in, which they already have. Excellent. Look at this blossoming population. And so hopefully these guys, they are. So you can kind of see the way the um, like the power grid kind of forms. This like aura thing around the buildings here. That just spreads as the buildings grow or get built. And we have forgotten water. But as you can see, we're out of money. So we must wait. What we could do, just because these people are going to complain, is... Oh, actually, I can't do that. <laughs> then we lose the power. So these kind of things, just, you know, keep an eye out for them before you do press play. Because once you do um, uh, do start the simulation, all the costs that you've um, kind of incurred, they're going to start slowly stacking. But as you can see, like, we're, we're getting our way back to a positive budget. Like, once these people start paying taxes and, and whatnot. So I'm not overly worried. I was actually kind of surprised that we didn't go more in, into the negatives but like as long as you plan a good um, starting foundation like you'll be okay my only silliness is that I just missed the, these guys here in terms of pipes but we can just hang out and watch uh, our sims drive around do their thing so basically you can see like we've got um, 
this is like the uh, mini highway in air quotes, even though it's just the one-way roads. And then this right here, we'll just kind of consider this the way to get to and from work. So hopefully people won't exit here, even though they are, to get to, to where they need to live. But as I put houses over here, I'm sure people will come in this way. But uh, having said that, if you do have more options for people coming in, that's going to make them use um, more lanes. So you won't see that like giant, giant backup of just like, you know, one lane traffic, right? Okay, guys, so this is a really good um, instance right here. So see how we're still kind of in the negatives, but we're, we're fluctuating. So what we have to do right now is just adjust the, uh, the budget. So we're spending like way too much just on power and water because we're not really using it. So we'll just down this. And we'll take a look and see if we're still okay. Oh, geez. Plenty. We can go even further if we want. Full point, now you can see we have a positive budget. We just want to just dig ourselves out of the hole so that we can uh, keep going. But we have a high um, residential demand, so let's just put some more people in. Get some more taxpayers in the city. Help the budget even further. And that'll hopefully spur some new development up here as well. Because you can see in the beginning, you can't actually adjust your taxes. You can just um, change the budget just for whatever services you put in. But because we haven't unlocked any achievements yet, we're just at the first level. We've only just got you know power and water. And so if we needed to, if we needed more wiggle room, we could just lower this even further. And then we'll just double check over here and see. So this, you can see, is on the border now. So the new homes coming in don't have enough power. So that's probably a mistake. Excellent. So once you hit a, um, a milestone, um, with this one, we're going to unlock the taxes, which is really cool. But each milestone, you get a little bit of a cash bonus. So usually you'll spend that on whatever buildings you just unlocked. It, it won't be enough to buy all of them. But if you are strapped for cash like we are right now, it's just nice to have a little bit more coffers or some coin in the loin all right so what we'll do is just pause this and plan for a second so i'm going to restore this back to 100 so i do plan on expanding a bit but we'll leave the um the water where it is like we should be oh yeah plenty all right so first things first let's just address that issue right there and our only demand seems to be four factories, so I actually want to keep the simulation running. To hopefully encourage this bar to go up. And so I want to place some, um, especially education. We'll do that was our first one. Because education, it's a very slow grind. A lot of people will say it's bugged. It's just, you know, your sims, they don't get educated overnight, so. And they also have to go through, like, levels of, of education. Like, you know, primary and, and whatnot. So those kind of things just drop them quickly. And then whenever you unlock a new service, your people are going to start to abandon it, like, right away. So you can already see, like, people are like, oh, please take my garbage. So let's get a garbage truck, or a, um, a garbage dump in here. And then you can see it spawns our little garbage trucks that go pick up the refuse, jettison it into the proper receptacles, right? I'm sorry, I'm a dork. Alright, so mission accomplished. The RCI demand has gone back up, so we can do some more zoning. And I'll bring the speed down to one. Like, you don't really um, want to blow through all your milestones right at the beginning. Because people are going to really want, like, essentially everything that you're unlocking. And if you don't have the money to buy it right away, it's just... Everyone's going to move out, and then your city will unfortunately fall apart. So we want to avoid that. You want to grow at a nice healthy pace like you can see like I, I maybe went a little bit too crazy in the beginning but that's just how I am a little bit of a risk taker right all right some commercial down here and uh, let's paint this I love the paints so nice and cool and let's just put some commercial in here. Awesome. 
quite the nice start so far. And our bot, uh, our, our budget, I was say budget with an O there, and our budget is uh, definitely much healthier. So let's up the taxes and make sure we're getting the maximum here. We did 13%. I usually do 12 as my, my start. And just keep an eye on your citizen happiness. So if this does plummet very quickly, you can see this is going down a bit. Just, uh, you know, adjust the taxes accordingly. Or um, just raise the land value. Because then you can kind of justify the, the raise in tax, you know? Alright, so let's do a little bit of expansion. Oh, actually, perfect. Um, I think we'll place all these services in. And actually, maybe we'll just take out a loan. Because we do have a lot of stuff to place now. Alright, so power. Oh, we're already at that magic moment. Alright, so we need a new power plant. Can't really hide from that. So we'll put that down. And we definitely need a police station before crime becomes an issue. And then a fire station. I'm only going to put the one down. And really, your industry. Like burns down faster than your residential zone, but just uh, keep them, you know, just kind of in the middle. And you'll you'll see in terms of coverage, right? Like you know, if you're on a bigger road, you get better coverage, and you'll see how one ways how they're affected by coverage too. That's why I don't zone up there because you can see how there's no fire coverage. So I will just place it here. And if you are placing it in the middle of a um, road that has a median. Just remember that the service vehicle has to get to the next intersection if it wants to make a U-turn. So it just adds a few extra seconds. So try and put them like right at an intersection. That way they can come out and just go really whatever way they want. All right, so that's fine for that. And I do believe we still need health care. So, I mean, you can see we've already had two milestones unlocked and we're like just out of money already, so. Just be very cautious about your budget, friends. Don't overdo it. You'll be broke. And I think the uh, clinic was 10,000. Does that sound right? It is. So we can get that pretty quickly. Now, I'm just debating whether I want to add one more little block on. So we can kind of double the money coming in. Just because we have such a demand, right? People, they really want to live here, so... Let's give them the opportunity, right? Okay, now I want... <clears throat> I want to start breaking the curves up a little bit. So that the roads don't, again, to go, go out in like a perfect grid. Let's see how this looks. Ah, uh, who knows? That could be cool. Alright, so I'll extend this one way. Just like the way that's going. And this one, just go like this. And I'm going to change the direction. Perfect. And I'll just slow this down. I don't want to get too carried away because I'm basically going to spend all this money and we do need uh, the healthcare. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of a curved road in here. Just to kind of, you know, mix it up. I'm going to do my best to make that somewhat straight. And, ooh. Perhaps not. Alright, maybe I can fix this. No, it likes down there. Okay, that's fine. I don't really need that part anyway, just yet. <clears throat> now again, this, this way, like, when I build, you know, if I just want to go up in the density, uh, the buildings, they come in at a nice, like, you know, angle, so it's not just, like, perfect gridding. And we'll essentially do the same thing over here. Mm 
And we'll just kind of piece together a little neighborhood right here. And actually, that's not too bad. So we've got a lot of commercial demand, so let's just make this area. <clears throat> nice little commercial block. And then everywhere else we'll just uh, make residential. And all things considered, it's actually a pretty good use of our money. So way to go us, alright. Unfortunately, I don't have enough for pipes, I don't think. So some people are going to be upset. But we will work on that ASAP. Yep, so let's turn this. Actually, you know, in retrospect, I probably should have had a speed going at uh, three speed this whole time, but that's okay. We're in no rush, right? All right, and just I think one more should do it. Maybe if we go this way. So when you see those little green arrows, it just means the building's leveling up, which is like a definitely good thing. Now I might need to drop in some more commercial. Our demand for that is pretty, pretty high right now. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's just go like this. Just switch that all over to commercial. And just, you know, keep an eye on it, especially when the city's pretty pretty early. Oh, geez, power. So I think for our next power plant, we're going to um, get, like, an oil one. Or, like, a coal, coal one, I should say. I don't think we've unlocked oil yet. Yeah, no. But they're expensive, so we'll just we'll save up. You know what, though? Since we're growing so quickly, let's just put one more of these guys in. And great energy, it makes your people happy, too. So, a little bit of a bonus. Oh, I just noticed, this is a nice, gentle kind of slope downward. Oh, cool, another milestone. Sorry, guys, I just had the fraps just uh, crash me right there. So I think um, with that most recent unlock, I'm actually going to end the episode right here. And uh, we got a nice little start. The town of uh, Unknown. I haven't picked a name yet. In the uh, region of Lakewood. In fact, we can name it right now. Let's see, uh, let's see what name the, the game's going to give us. Anchor Hills, we were familiar with that, but we are going to change it, though. Let's see what the industrial area ends up being. Nothing wrong with Anchor Hills, but you know what? That's already got a place in my heart, right? King Hills. All right, King City it is. Okay, so the town of King City. Oh, goodness, there just needs to be a Y. And we'll call this the King City Industrial Park. Cool. Awesome. If you guys uh, totally don't like this name, like, feel free to suggest one in the comments. And uh, just let me know what you think. Are we off to a good start? Uh, what, would, what would you change? Where should we go? What direction should we take? <laughs> That's a lot of questions just for the, for the first episode. But no, all things considering, I think we have a really good start. But um, just in general, without thinking too much here, I would like to expand just kind of outward, and we'll just kind of encompass this area that has the highway. And we'll have some... Oh, I wonder if we can get out to these islands. Oh, that'll be a fun discovery. All right, we will see. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you like this, just uh, go ahead and hit that like button. And um, thanks for all the support again, guys. You're all just a very pleasant group. So, look, I look forward to making content, you know, and I think we're a really good team, you and I, so let's keep it up, shall we? All right, guys, thanks a lot. See you in the next one.